right, we concentrate on the two meters. I'm going to start drawing power out of the dump load. Okay, so that's 50% dump load power. Strange, it says the brake's still coming on. Wind's picked up a bit. Gonna turn the dump load up to max. Whoa, second I did that, look at the turbine. 280 watts, right, the dump load is taking out 210. You can see the battery is maintaining voltage even though we're drawing the 210 because the turbine is putting in some power. If the turbine stops putting in power, we'll see this battery voltage start dropping very quick. Go on the turbine. Go on the turbine. You boy, this thing is sick. Look, oh, it's ripping it around, 370. We'll concentrate on this for a minute. The dump load is still drawing 210 watts. Some really good power. 10 amps, sustained 10 amps. That's what we want to see. Yes, dump load is still going at 212 watts. Let's get that beast a glowing. Let's get that dump load a glowing. Interesting to see the turbine kind of working better with the 200 watt load applied. Obviously whilst the wind is there, we can do it. The wind's still coming. Remember it needs to be putting in above 200 watts to maintain the battery voltage so while it's sitting there putting in no watts the battery voltage will start dropping quite quickly. Oh we're not going to be a glowing today. Right, I'm going to turn the dump load to zero you'll see the battery voltage will start returning to 26 even without any power from the turbine but if the turbine starts kicking out some juice we'll be laughing so you can see that's the meter <clears throat> and uh, for the dump load that's at actually at minimum so I think it's using a couple of watts just to keep this on. So I'll maybe get a disconnect switch for it. It is quite handy to have though. That may be the end of the wind.